and it's uh, NQ Explorers again. We're back in the old uh, casino, the illegal casino site. I'm still looking for that trap door uh, where the money went. As you can see, it's been uh, four or five weeks since we last time. The cane's really getting up now. I've had a lot of rain last week and sugar cane grows really quickly. So this will probably be the last hunt for this season uh, on this site because it just gets impossible to swing a coil in here after a while. Uh, once the cane's two metres high and it's impenetrable nearly. So anyway, well hopefully uh, we'll find a few more coins here. Today the um, ground's nice and moist, so we'll get a bit more penetration out of the uh, detectors. So um, we might be digging some uh, deeper targets. We'll dig the little tiny signals and uh, hopefully there's a few more coins in here. So uh, we'll be back shortly, hopefully with uh, some pretty good finds. So um, thanks for watching and uh, we'll get into it. Okay, I'm on the first row here and uh, literally the first target of the day. is quite deep, you can see the depth of that hole over there. And uh, I've got it over here. Little coins come out of the ground. Looks like it might be a threepence. That was way down deep. It gave a really low tone. And uh, it improved with depth, of course, but it's a little silver threepence. I'll give it a clean and I'll get a date. So that's a good, that's the very first target of the day. So that's a good start. So um, I'll give it a clean and I'll get back with a date. Well, there she is, 1925, King George V. Sterling silver, that one. A uh, bit tarnished, but I'll uh, just give it a, a proper clean one to get home. But uh, that's a good start to the day. A uh, little silver coin. So I'll just thought I'd show you the depth of that target. It's about eight inches down. It's the full depth of the pro pointer. It started off as a really low tone. I thought it was a little piece of lead, but uh, it improved with depth and uh, yeah, popped that little strip. And so um, there we go. Just shows you that there's stuff uh, at all depths because the ground's been tilled. There's uh, coins at all depths here. So um, you've got to dig every whisper and uh, you won't miss the high ones then. Well, it looks like I've got a second coin here. I'll just show you that this is the depth of this hole. It's probably only about six inches, but it just shows you what a difference the soil moisture content makes to the conductivity of targets and uh, depth and penetration. Only a mid-tone. You can see it there, totally dinging up to a high. You can see a penny just sitting there in the uh, soil that's come out of the ground. So I did these rows a few weeks ago. I mean, you can miss stuff all the time, I know, but just uh, I wasn't digging any really deep targets. It was very deep, uh, dry soil at the time, so there we go. 
hopefully she's an old one but like as we've seen before uh, could be uh, toast <laughs> but it mightn't be too bad that one I'll give it a quick clean actually it doesn't look too bad at all I'll give it a quick clean and we'll uh, get a date in the monarch so um, just to give you an idea of the hunt conditions that's the rose cane's probably about 1.2 metres high at the moment so but getting in amongst the stools I find that between the cane stools there and the sticks you get a lot of coins there because they're cultivated up into the centre okay I'll just get back in a minute with a date on this uh, old penny I just picked up well there she is it's just a quick field clean that's a for, for a bronze coin that's in good condition for this site 1942 kangaroo penny King George VI so I'll uh, I'll clean it up a lot more than that when I get home but uh, I never clean the coins more than just uh, warm water and warm soapy water and a soft toothbrush that's as good as they get and then they go in my coin album but anyway that's a uh, second coin of the day so uh, keep moving down these rows and uh, like I said we're getting down deeper in this moist soil today so um, more new targets to be found on we go well there's an interesting find I know I'm in the right area dead set nine inches this one but it's a big target it's a doorknob. Looks like the uh, probably off the old uh, the old casino. Hey, wonder if it's the uh, trap door knob. No, I don't think so. I'll just hang around this little spot here and have a hunt. So uh, I'm definitely getting down deeper today because of the moisture in the soil. But um, I've been up this road before and I didn't find that target. That may just be uh, more a comment on my ability as a metal detectorist than anything else. But anyway, okay. Well, that's a good little find. The doorknob. That's quite old. Um, Usually bigger than that, it's, quite, it's a small knob, maybe it's a cupboard knob, I'm not sure. Anyway, on to the next. We had quite a bit of rain last week, heavy rain. Check this out, it's some, a surface find, it's, I'm not sure what it is, I haven't picked it up yet. It's, I thought it might have been a marble, but it's got a flat bottom. Might be a, I don't know if it's plastic or if it's not. Might be off a uh, bit of jewellery or something, I'm not sure. I'll uh, have a closer look when I get home. Doesn't look too exciting, but um, this goes to show you that one stuff gets exposed in the heavy rain. Okay, move on to the next target. the hole of dug here. <laughs> it was a tiny little target, I had a bit of trouble locating it but the pro pointer, I got the use of it today. Here it is and what a great find, I was digging this little hole, uh, worth digging this hole. It's a tiny little skeleton key. I'd say that's either off a drawer or from an old um, early 20th century drawer, uh, dressing table or something or a little jewellery box or something. Little brass key, tiny little thing. What a great find. Right in the middle of the row um, like I said again, uh, the moisture conditions make it different. You pick up these tiny little whispers down deeper and um, up come the goodies. That one's there is probably nearly nine inches down. So um, really pleased with that. Okay, we'll just keep up and down these rows. I've been up and down them many times, but there's still uh, still stuff coming out. All right, on to the next target. Beautiful day to be out hunting today. Um, very humid though. I just had a bit of trouble with uh, moisture in the camera lens, so I had to put it in the sun for a while, but high humidity, but... Um, a little bit of a breeze, you can see it just uh, drifting across the cane there, so it makes it for a really pleasant day out. So, uh, no, it's all good. And um, we're just going to go have a bit of a cold drink, and uh, we'll be back shortly with more finds. Okay, I'm currently in the area of the old social club, or the um, so-called illegal casino. I'm going to head down the rows this way. There's a big creek down there, and on that creek bank was a massive old uh, Queenslander, a big old uh, timber farmhouse, dating from the 1890s. Um, I did see it once back in the 1970s when it was in ruins but I, I don't remember exactly where it was but we'll go and have a look down there there should be some old coins and relics in that area too so we'll uh, go down there for, for an hour or so and then we'll come back down to this casino area so uh, hopefully we're back with some finds from that old uh, timber farmhouse off we go down this row I've just stepped over one row and we're way down to that old farmhouse and straight away I've been rewarded with a silver coin look at this looks like it's another little threepence I'll uh give it a clean and give you a date on that gee it's a beauty okay back shortly with a date on this one another silver coin good one 
And there she is, she's another real beauty. 1922, silver uh, threepence, King George V. Here's the king on the other side. Hit the take on the video. Um, yeah, 1922, so that's two lovely little threepences. Uh, and that was only a couple of inches down. I may have missed this row earlier on, but this shows, you know, you can just keep hunting and hunting and coins keep coming up here. So uh, I've been coming here for years and I'm just amazed how I keep finding coins. Righto, we'll just head down this road. The way we're facing is the way we're going, so we'll keep going. Uh, well, I just got uh, this one here. I don't know what it is. Brass ring of some sort. It's fairly ornate, actually. Um, I'll uh, just clean it up and... Yeah, it's a solid brass ring. Maybe with a thread on there. Maybe off an old wagon or something, I'm not sure. Okay, well that's the next find on the way down to the old house. But we'll just keep going down this row. Well, I'm uh, back down in the old casino area. The house didn't work out because there's so much scrap iron up there. It was just so much trash. Um, it was detectable, but I haven't got a sniper call for this GTI 2500. Something I should buy. So I was coming back down these rows and I got a lovely signal here in this hole. And uh, you can hear it there. And what is, I've come out with a bit of a, a coin ball like you guys get in the UK in the moist soil. It looks like another little trippence. What a beauty. Let's get him out of there. I'll give it a good clean and uh, see if I can get a date off it. It's okay. Three silvers. I'll just uh, give it a clean. I'll get back in a minute with. Okay, well, there she is. 1942. Uh, King George VI threepence. That's a sterling threepence. It'll have a mint mark on it. I'll subtitle the mint mark. As you can see, she's a bit uh, bent. I didn't do that. It was, uh, I'd say it's been ploughed like that or something. There's not actually a scratch on it. It's just bent. But it's very worn on the king's side. So anyway, never mind. Another little st uh, silver coin for the day. We'll just keep uh, in this old casino area. The old house site didn't pay off. There was too much trash down there. Um, I need to get a smaller coil for the uh, GTI to hunt that, the little four and a half inch sniper would be ideal. But anyway, we'll just keep humping up down these rows uh, in the old casino area. Okay. Okay, well I'm still in the same row as I was uh, where I just got that uh, little bent threepence. Out of this hole here, I've got this. And uh, I'd say, I've missed this row on previous occasions or last time. But look, there's a coin stuck in there. By the look at the size of it, I think it's going to be a two cent piece. Um, because yeah, pretty sure that's a two cent piece. Now, this the, the old place was used as a, re, a private residence uh, up until the very early 1970s, so it had about five or six years of decimalisation to uh, drop these little fellas. Um, ring up beautifully. But um, that might be an early one, but there's no way I'll be able to get any detail off it. Okay, so I'd say that's two cents, just judged by the size of that, but there's no detail visible. Righto, on to the next time. I've got a really high reading on this coin here. Treating uh, 12 to 14 conductivity on the GTI 2500 for you guys who use them. And I think I've got myself a florin here. That's the way I scratched the soil, it's about 4 inches down. First I thought it was a penny, but I'm pretty sure that's a silver coin, it'll be a silver florin. Okay, I'll uh, give it a field clean and we'll have a look at it. And uh, identify the monarch and the date. Well that's great, another silver. Okay, back shortly. Well, this one got the old heart going when I cleaned it. It's a King George V silver florin, 1917. It's worn, but uh, all the details still visible, so that's a great find for the old casino. Big silver. Haven't found a real lot of florins here, but uh, what a beauty. I love these King George V florins. They're always great to find, and the, boy, do they ring up high on the detector. Yeah, because you can imagine, it's a big lump of silver. Okay, that's fantastic. Okay, well I'll stay in this row because I've got all these last few coins in this row and um, I thought I'd hunted this row, but anyway, it might be under the, this could be the trap door, the money pit. I'm getting excited. Well, I just got the florin in that row over there, so I've jumped that uh, cane row and I'm in this row here. And another big signal on the, uh, the centre of the row. And it looks like a penny. I've just, clay clumps just came apart and um, See it there? I'm just Yep, penny. Good one. That's less than really uh, laterally about 10 feet from that florin, so this could be a good spot. I'll just concentrate on this for the next half hour or so.
but we'll get back with a date and a monarch on this penny. Okay, on we go. Okay, there she is. It's actually recognisable as a Commonwealth of Australia penny. I think it's a 1922. I'll check that when I get home. Surprising amount of detail on that coin for the a copper coin for this site of uh, King George V to be under there somewhere. We'll dig him out later. Righto. Looks like a 1922 penny. Not far from that uh, 1917 florin. So they're all uh, post just post -war, World War One, post World War One coins in this area, which is good. I'm, I'm happy with this. We'll just stay in this area and just do it very. Well, it looks like we've got another silver coin. That's where the florin was over in that row. Then I showed you that penny dig just down there, about uh, seven or eight metres. And it looks like another silver threepence here. Just a mid-tone, this one, so it may be, it may be a 50% silver. I've just pulled it out of the ground, out of the hole. Let's get it in the sun. Um, pretty tarnished. So uh, we'll give it a little clean and uh, we'll get a date. So that's another silver coin. All in the same area. We may not be in the trap door where they threw the money, but it's keeping me interested anyway. That's good. Righto, on to the next target. I've got to show you this one first. Well, there we go, it's another sterling silver. That's uh, the fourth sterling silver threepence we've got here today, plus the florin. I think it's 1922 or 21. I'll uh, subtitle a date, but uh, beautiful little coin. And it's in good condition too. It's a little bit tarnished, but uh, like I said, the fertiliser doesn't really affect the silvers here. And there's King George V on the other side. But I'm pretty sure that's a 1922. Actually, I think I got a 22 earlier on. No, it's a 21, I'm pretty sure. You might be able to see it there. Okay, righto, on to the next target. Well, that's our little hunt at the old casino site today. I hope you've enjoyed that. And uh, we had a few good finds there, a few silver coins and some relics. Um, this will probably be the last hunt on the site for this uh, cane season. The cane season uh, starts in June and uh, the crop's usually cut off by November. So next year, uh, when this crop's cut, um, this, this platter will probably be pl uh, planted. So that means it'll be tilled, uh, all the um, cane stools will be tilled out and uh, they'll start again. So that'll be a good time to hunt it and uh, there'll be more coins coming to the surface then. And uh, I won't come back here this year because as you can see, it's getting a bit difficult now with the long cane just, just stuck between the rows. But um, no, it was a good little hunt. Uh, thanks very much for watching our video. Um, happy hunting everyone and uh, see you next trip out.